Violence is defined as physical force exerted for the purpose of violating, damaging, or abusing. And sadly, violence is a part of everyday life. It's in our movies and our television shows. And we live in a world where power is often established through violence. But for Christians, the way of the world is always trumped by the truth of the word. So what does the Bible say about violence? First of all, violence in the mind is just as hurtful as violence by the hands. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17 says, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. When we know someone is in sin, is it more loving to keep it quiet and build up hate and resentment towards them? God says we should speak frankly, and Jesus tells us in Matthew 5, verses 21 through 22, Ye have heard that it was said of them of old time, Thou shalt not kill, and whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment, and whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council, but whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. Murderous anger can lead the angry man to judgment from God as quickly as a physical blow. The violence he exhibits towards someone else can be brought back upon himself by God. What about violence in war? Exodus chapter 20 verse 13 had been incorrectly translated as Thou shalt not kill, but it literally means do not murder. God has allowed for just wars throughout the history of his people. From Abraham to Deborah to David, God's people have fought as instruments of judgment from a righteous and holy God. Romans chapter 13 verses 1 through 4 tells us to submit ourselves to government authorities and that nations have the right to bear the sword against evildoers, both foreign and domestic. Violence occurs, but we must recognize the difference between holy judgment on sin and our own personal vendettas against those we dislike, which is the inevitable outcome of pride. Therefore, pride compasseth them such as a chain, violence cover them as a garment. While men are more prone to accept violence, especially in cultures that depict real men as those who never cry, always have a plan and carry a gun, the wisest man of all time wrote, Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. Prayer and patience beats violence and anger on any day.